He sat at his computer, setting up windows, editing keys, placing titles. He didn't know exactly what he was going to be doing for tonight's video, but then it hit him. He knew that he was going to play the Stanley Parable. Really? He was overjoyed. He was excited. He had had this game for a little while and didn't actually start to play it yet. Yeah. Ahem. <clears throat> he was excited. But I am excited. It's not my fault that you can't take direction very well. I take direction? I mean, why do you think your videos don't have that many views yet? Oh, what? That's hurtful. I'm new. I'm just starting out. Cut me a break. You're right. That was kind of, you know, a low blow. That was a low blow. That was hurtful. That hurts. Okay, okay. I take it back. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should. Now I feel bad. Thanks for that. Can we at least continue to get through this? I don't know. I mean, I suppose, but are you going to be a dick? It was your idea to do an aeration. Yeah, it was, and you know what? It was a good idea. What do you got to say? Hey, I'm not doubting you. This is your video. You can do it however you want. Well, of course we are. This is my video. I'm doing all of this. Are we ready to continue? I suppose we can. After some time talking to the narrator of his own video, he turned to the camera and finally started his introduction. And hello, YouTube. Uh, yeah. So, as my wonderfully nice narrator said, uh, we are going to be checking out the Stanley Parable tonight. Uh, it's definitely a new game that I've... I've actually had it for a little while. I don't know how new it is. I might have just lied to you. I'm sorry about that. It might not be new. But, yeah, so I picked it up. I saw some trailers for it. It looks a lot like Portal, which is really what drove me to it. And I'm actually really, really excited to play it. So, I don't know what else to say about it, except that I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I guess from a little explanation, the narrator, of course, uh, yeah, he's kind of a dick. But, uh, decided to throw him in for you guys, because uh, from what I had seen, it's based off the interactions between a character and the narrator. So I thought, why not? Let's throw it in. So, we're going to do a little magic real quick and get this uh, game video up and everything else. So don't go anywhere. It's going to happen now. And bam! Oh, the magic of editing. You got to love it, right? That was bad, I know. Um, so, here we are. This is it. The Stanley Parable. So... I really just can't wait to get into this. Uh, we're just going to start. Begin the game. The end is never, the end is never, the end is never. Loading. I don't know if it's supposed to take this long. Is this part of the game? Am I playing the waiting game? Ah, oh, there we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. 
something he would never quite forget. Hmm. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized <laughs> that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, to <coughs> call a meeting, or even say hi. Oh. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, so I didn't want to talk over anything uh, that he was saying, but my god, did I want to talk to you guys real quick. So, this looks like three of my favorite things. Uh, it looks like it's based out of, like, the Half-Life era or, you know, the same thing that goes along with all that. Uh, it's got that portal feel, and, oh, for the love of god, it feels... And the narrator gives the hint of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It, I'm just, like, nerdgasming over here for a second. Uh, well, actually, I still am. It's an ongoing gasm. Okay, so let's actually see what's going on. Can't click any of this. 427. What does the mug say? Huh, hate. I would assume it says Mondays. Can't open the cabinets. Okay. Can I go in any of these rooms? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Meeting room? Oh, he has the same mug! I wonder if we're mug buddies. Did he buy me that mug, or did I buy him that mug? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, the narrator is spot on! Who farted? I can't... Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> So what? I'm gonna touch it. I so I turned it off. Can I? I can't turn it back on. I broke it. Did I try that door? I don't think so. These cabinets, nothing. I can't. I go in. Open. God damn it. Oh, looks like Nebraska. I don't know if they have mountains in Nebraska. It might be. Well, what about this one? So it doesn't have a number. Ah, oh, damn it, it's locked. Where the hell's the meeting room? Oh, turn it off. Oh, he has the same mug as that other guy. I wonder if they're mug buddies. Nothing this door? No. What about this one? <laughs> door 420. Which is funny because I'm here in Colorado. Hmm. If you guys don't know, that's because we can smoke weed and it's okay. Oh crap! I missed it. What did it say? Damn it, and I can't turn it back on. Bah! I'm upset at myself now. What about these doors? Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Hey, you're as mean as the other guy. Oh, oh, here's the oh, and that's how you get ants, guys. Fucking knocking stuff over, leaving mugs out. Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. Oh. Still nothing. I'm clicking on everything because there's been times to where I've missed stuff because I haven't opened things. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, okay. he entered the door on his left. Uh. Hmm.
I don't know. Mm. Let's check the cabinets first. Now, from what I know is that you can do this multiple ways. So, I'm going to go through it the first time and do what the narrator says just to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, we'll follow him for once. For the first time. I'll be a good little boy. God, why are all of these doors locked? It's like, l literally, why is everything locked? Yet there was not a single person here either. Well, thank you. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Do not console alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Whiteboard manager. Uh, weekly target item marketing Mondays. Up. Oh, group 43, group 44. How many groups are there? Jesus. Oh, man. Friday office party. I was told there would be cake. Uh, not cost effective. Standardized graphs. 40. 40 times wide. Uh, fire paper guy. Paper scissors. Blah, 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 blah. Who moved my desk? Has anyone seen my stapler? My stapler? Except, it's kind of hard to lose a whole desk. God damn, there's so many people with these mugs. Does, I literally... It confirms. Everyone hates Mondays. Garfield was right. A lot of percent teenager size of demographic. Oh man, it does. It feels almost exactly like a portal. Oh, gotta move chair. Oh. What are your dreams of the future? Football. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no exception, expectation of promotion. Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressively, and other co workers resent co workers for not supporting you more. These are the worst possible slides ever. Uh, Synergize core values. Oh, I can click on these. Oh, man. What does that mean? Nothing. Nothing. Is there I haven't heard the narrator in a while. Is he gone? Room calls it. <gasps> I can go in here. This is the first door that's open. Stanley stepped into the broom closet. I did. But there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I don't believe you. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. I don't believe you. Reason to still be here. You're trying to trick me. There's something here. There's always something. They tell you not to go. If they tell you to go, there's always something. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. <laughs> oh, FA. I know there's got to be. So are you? Are you really still in the broom closet, standing around doing nothing? Yeah. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Because I didn't I didn't believe you and that I thought you were trying to trick me to make me think that there wasn't something. I do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Yeah, but I if I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Well but it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah, but... Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. 
Well, see, I didn't. I thought he was lying. I thought you. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. That's mean. That's really mean. You're as bad as the guy at the well, beginning. Come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right What? Now. You're dead. I'm dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed. <laughs> So as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. <laughs> Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, a person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Oh. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, <laughs> making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Oh, that's... I'm telling you, this feels exactly like I'm playing something straight out of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's, oh, it's so good. It feels so right. I guess there is actually nothing going on in here. And he's not saying anything, so all right. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. So I said that I was going to follow his directions. This time. You know, I'm just having fun listening to this whole thing. I mean... Which door, though? Can I go? Oh, I can't go in that door. Uh, because... I think this is the the one game where I really don't care if I actually get to do really anything. I'll just listen to the narrator the entire time. What is this? The executive bath... Oh, it's locked. Okay. Hello! I have a meeting with Mr. Jenkins. Alright, just have a seat. We'll call you up when you're ready. If if anything actually works, nope, can't do anything. Right, I'll just wait over here then. I would assume that my guy is British, uh, since the narrator is British. So that is the way that we are going to continue, I guess. Hey, right, I'm here for you, boss. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked. Unraveled, <gasps> Stanley wondered in disbelief. I am unraveled. This. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number 2845. But of course, Stanley five. couldn't possibly have known this. 2845. 2845. Oh, I got it! Incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I'm gonna explore first. So, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Mo. I am the most expensive boss. Can't play the piano. There's what else? Hi, boss. I know you're not not here right now, but uh, I'm gonna start looking through your shit. All right. Okay.
And it, ooh, that's dark. Into the elevator! Just randomly gets in an elevator that doesn't go anywhere. Right, I don't know where I'm going, but uh, I hope I live. Just adjust my posture. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I have new feelings, and I would like to question my job. Stanley oh. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay. My, that's a big sign. Mind Control Facility. I don't think anything could go wrong in here. I bet you this button turns on the lights. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh, it's like the scene out of the what Matrix. What secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I think I might have the strength to find out what's on all these TVs. Cameras. Now the monitors jumped to life, oh. their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of ah! an employee in the building. The two of the employees have been fired. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, that one's out. Why is that one out? Oh, what does that one say? It's all red. Oh, God damn it, it's too far. Oh, no. Like... That one's all blue and weird right there. Fired. Oh, and they changed again. Excuse me while I scratch my beard. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? No! Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring... No! ...that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No! I refuse to believe! No. He refused to believe oh. it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never! Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? No. Had he truly spent his entire life no. utterly blind to the world? No. I refuse to believe. It was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. <gasps> Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. This machine will never exert its power over another individual. I will destroy the controls. My guy doesn't sound too as enthusiastic as the narrator when it comes to uh, what he's doing. What does this button do? Four! What? I don't get it. It's making different noises! How many times do I have to click it? Do I even click it? Okay, I don't know. I feel like I've wasted time. 
Did it turn on consoles or something? <gasps> One, two. Where's button three? Because I know where four is. Where is button three? Do I have to press them in order? Three, four, and then five. Oh, I can crouch. I got stuck. Hmm. Hmm, I pressed them all except for this one. Nope, can't press it. Oh, crap. Ten. Offline. Oh. Let's go into the big room with the monitor. See what happens. System power. Huh. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. What happens if I turn it on, though? Was that it? rising chill of uncertainty I'm uncertain was it over I don't know yes <gasps> he had won he had defeated the machine I've won unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away T are those birds and yet even as the immense door slowly opened oh they are birds wow this is an immense door Co-workers gone. Ooh. How had oh. he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. I feel like this is going to be fake. Life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I feel like this is going to lie to me. Because who puts a barn and a scenic hillside next to a big friggin building Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin the feeling of liberation I can't move I can't the move ability of the new path before him this was exactly the way right now that things were meant to happen and Stanley was happy I'm happy Achievement unlocked. Oh, I guess that was it. Okay. I guess it puts me right back at the beginning. All right. Now for this playthrough, I really don't care what the narrator says. I'm gonna do what I want. All of his co-workers were gone, 
What could it mean? I don't know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't care. I guess so melodramatic. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I'm gonna go on the one on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Employee lounge? Oh! Uh, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Number one dead? Okay. Okay. Coffee nut? Okay, so there's... Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I like the coffee room. It's where I get my coffee. At this point, Stan is a foot at last he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. I have to get my coffee from the break room because my floor manager's a dick and took our coffee maker away. He said too many people spilled it and got ants on the floor. F he said first door on the left, right? Fuck you! I'm gonna go straight. Ooh. Ooh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired. Hi. <laughs> I do a good job. I'm good at what I do. Ooh, can I get to there? Oh, I need to get there. How do I get there? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Hey, I did what you wanted the first time. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact <gasps> that the story is be Oh, really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? No. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? It, Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help <laughs> you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Um, you said I would have been fired, so I'm not going to believe you and do what I want. Besides, I did what you wanted the first time. Oh no. Oops. Oh. Uh. This side of the fence. Am I like close to the ground floor? Is that where I am? Can't be. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. N no. I said I wasn't going to listen to what you said. So I'm going through the blue door. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stand hey. walked through the red. Door. No, I'm going through the blue door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. No. I'm going through the blue door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Oh, oh. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rules, <laughs> exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. All right. There we go. A third option. Th this already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. 
Now, I can't tell if this is a reference to Alpha Space the movie, or if this is supposed to be the design textures for levels, but either way, it looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm just going to continue with the accent. The door. Oh, it's so orange. Actually, now that I think about it, my conspiracy theory is kicking in. Uh, it looks like Half-Life. It kind of has a portal feel. It's so much orange. The orange is from the orange box. I have no idea. And they're all in the orange box. <gasps> Half-Life 3 confirmed. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Well, since my guy's kind of... Eh. Well, my experience was alright. I gave it a three. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? <laughs> Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe. I, I really don't know. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh... Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Skip. Okay, these have to be fake. Skip the intro on the worst here. Chose the blue dark 90% of players are more attractive than Stanley. Oh. I'm, I'm last place. My friends list is empty. I'm ranked last. Whoever a dead rat is, I'm coming for you, man. And it just it just loops. Okay. Let's keep going through the orange doll. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I mean, not really, but it's nice to have. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. All right. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Sure. Perfect. I could do Let that. Boot it up. Oh. Loading. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Oh god. You click the button no. to move him back to the right. And if he reaches oh, the baby. Corner, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Sorry, the Dion. The world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game oh, god. becomes clear. Stock photo, baby. It for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Okay. I know there's... There's something for actually probably doing this for four hours. I can't do it. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. What? Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game?
just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> Is it going to be fun? Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. I hope it's fun. Ah, it's Minecraft! Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always wanted. <laughs> a game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. A house? Where is he building a house at? Oh. Oh! This will go here. No. Here. And then... He's, he's actually building a house. Well, kind of a house. Let's see. What does it need? I... Uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes. It's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. I, f I feel my inadequacies. Go, go in! Why can't I go in? Oh, there we go. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. All right. Oh, my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Now, um, are, are we just going to play Minecraft the whole time? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Oh! I heard a spider and I heard a creeper! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Okay, this has to be made by the same guys. No way out. Listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. But what is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Okay, yeah, there's only one way. This has to be... This has to be by the same guys. And it probably is, and you guys probably already know that, and I'm probably really dumb. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forte. I like to think critically. Critical thinking is, uh, it's, it's what I do for work. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Oh! Was I supposed to do that? What happened? I wasn't... I wasn't listening? I should have been listening to my narrator. I might have missed a critical plot point. Wow, this looks just unfinished. Oh! Oh! What? Where did I go? My narrator is kind of quiet.
God, I wish I had like a flashlight or something. Oh, hey, there's lights on. Wait a second. Oh, damn it. Can't get in there. But there's lights. What does it mean? Oh, wait a s That's my o that's That's my office, kind of. Except different. Oh, wait a second. This looks like an editing studio. Push all the buttons. I don't get it. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Mm. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Oh, really? He's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. Mm. He'll understand Kinda soon stuck. what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Mm. Very soon. I can wait. Okay. Oh! Loading again. What? Was that an ending? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, I uh, I think that's enough for tonight. Uh, two endings. Followed the first one. And then just said, fuck all. To the second one. Uh, so, yeah. We're definitely going to keep playing... Alright, enough of the accent. Uh, we're definitely going to keep playing this. That's for pretty damn sure. Um, we only got through two endings, but as far as I understand, there are a lot more. And if I swear, if clicking that baby game for four hours is an ending... I'm sorry, guys, but that's not the ending that you guys are going to see. But we'll pick this up. Uh, I'll post another video tomorrow. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. The genius at work. Okay, so apparently you can't do anything in this game without the narrator at least getting onto you or acknowledging what you're doing. And I love it. Uh, 10 out of 10 will play again. Actually, we're going to play it tomorrow because there's going to be two more endings for you guys tomorrow. So, as always, I mean, fantastic. This is going to be one game that I'm going to always come back to. As far as I know, it could get really bad. It could become unplayable. I hope not. It would crush me. I have such high hopes and so far it's been fulfilling them. So, until tomorrow, guys, that's two endings. Expect two more tomorrow. I will catch you guys next time.
That was interesting.